If you think blacks were subject to hate in Western nations, then you are wrong. Once you come to know about the racism that happened in Arab nations, your heart will weep. Anyone who has not yet seen the visuals of black people going through the worst in Arab won't believe it. The Arabs were cruel to black people, from removing men's genitals so they can't produce babies to master siring babies with black females. The brutality goes beyond your imagination. But why did all this happen? What is the cause of it? The Black History Archives Black people are not just faced with discrimination in Western nations, but this racism has happened and is happening in a list of nations. One such region is the Arab world. Racism and discrimination against black individuals persist in the Arab world, creating a complex socio-cultural landscape that demands examination and reflection. Despite the current expressing no racial prejudice, the historical ethnocentric bias towards black people among medieval Arabs has left a lasting impact. This prejudice extends beyond the Arab community, targeting non-Arabs including black, European, and Asian groups that adhere to Islam. Non-Arab ethnic minorities such as Armenians, Africans, the Sakalaba, Southeast Asians, Jews, Kurds, Coptic Christians, Assyrians, Persians, Turks, and other Turkic peoples, as well as South Asians living in Arab countries of the Middle East, also face discrimination. Black Arabs, in particular, find themselves part of non-Black Arab countries, yet face staggering contempt for their African or Black identity. This discrimination against Black people is pervasive in the Middle East and North Africa MENA region, with numerous racist expressions aimed at individuals with dark skin both in standard Arabic and various dialects. The repercussions of this discrimination extend to the exclusion of black Arabs from political, academic, artistic, and religious institutions in Arab-dominated countries, rendering them largely invisible. Arab media significantly influences perceptions and attitudes within the region. However, a concerning issue has emerged, the prevalence of anti-black sentiment. This sentiment is reflected in the perpetuation of racist stereotypes and the systematic underrepresentation of black individuals in various aspects of Arab society. Instances of anti-black sentiment are notably present in Arab media, contributing to the marginalization of black Arabs in political, academic, artistic, and religious spheres. Unfortunately, black individuals often find themselves excluded from these institutions, limiting their opportunities and perpetuating a cycle of inequality. Critics have raised concerns about scenes in Arab media that depict vulgar racism against black individuals. These depictions contribute to the dehumanization and othering of blackness, reinforcing discriminatory beliefs. All racist tropes and negative portrayals persist in Arab popular culture, shaping a narrative that fuels prejudiced perspectives. But why is Arab racist? To comprehend the contemporary presence of anti-black sentiment in the Arab world, one must delve into its historical roots, particularly the Arab slave trade, the enduring impact of this historical context has ingrained biases against black individuals, shaping the collective mindset of the region. The Arab slave trade, spanning over a millennium, involved the enslavement of Africans and others, leaving an indelible mark on the perception of blackness in Arab societies. This historical exploitation has cast a long shadow, influencing present-day discriminatory attitudes. Understanding the roots of anti-black sentiment requires a comprehensive examination and acknowledgement of this dark chapter in history. The Arab slave trade was characterized by centuries of enslavement, with countless individuals subjected to forced labor and dehumanizing conditions. The legacy of this trade has significantly contributed to negative stereotypes and biases against black individuals, perpetuating discriminatory beliefs that persist in contemporary Arab society. The historical exploitation of black individuals during the Arab slave trade has had a profound impact on the collective psyche of the region. It has shaped perceptions and attitudes, leading to the marginalization and exclusion of black individuals from various spheres of Arab society. The deep-seated biases born from this historical context continue to influence interactions and contribute to the manifestation of anti-black sentiment. Black Arabs, as a demographic group, confront a range of complex challenges that impede their full integration into society. A significant hurdle faced by black Arabs is their underrepresentation in key institutions. Whether in political, academic, artistic, or religious spheres, black individuals find themselves excluded 
limiting their opportunities for growth and participation. This lack of representation hinders the development of diverse voices and perpetuates a cycle of marginalization that affects the broader community. Systemic exclusion exacerbates the challenges faced by Black Arabs deepening their sense of marginalization. The absence of equal opportunities contributes to the perpetuation of harmful stereotypes, creating a narrative that undermines the potential and contributions of Black individuals. Overcoming these systemic barriers is crucial for building a more inclusive and equitable Arab society. The invisibility of Black Arabs in countries dominated by the white Arab majority adds another layer to their struggle. Denied the opportunities afforded to their non-Black counterparts, Black Arabs encounter additional barriers to participation and advancement. This invisibility limits their social and economic progress and perpetuates a sense of alienation within their communities. Now, this was happening with the Black people. Can you guess what was happening to Black slaves? Here's a reminder to please support us so we can make more videos for you by subscribing to our channel and giving the video a like. We want to build a strong community and we need your support. Let's continue now. The Arab slave trade, a long-standing historical chapter involved harsh treatment and cruelty towards black slaves. This trade, which persisted for centuries, left a deep and lasting impact on the lives of millions of black Africans who endured unimaginable suffering. Recognizing this dark history is crucial as efforts to confront and address the legacy of anti-black racism in the Arab world continue. During the Arab slave trade, the harsh realities faced by black slaves were deeply disturbing and inhumane. Male slaves, in particular, endured the cruel practice of castration, a horrifying procedure meant to ensure they could not father children. This not only stripped them of their reproductive capabilities, but also inflicted immense physical and psychological trauma. The working conditions imposed on black slaves were characterized by brutality, especially in the fields and harems. Slaves toiled under grueling labor, subjected to long hours and harsh treatment. The fields demanded intense physical exertion, leading to exhaustion, injuries, and often death. In harems, female slaves faced a different, but equally dehumanizing form of exploitation. Black female slaves were subjected to the appalling practice of being treated as sex slaves. This not only robbed them of their autonomy and dignity, but also added another layer of cruelty to their already dire circumstances, forced into a life of sexual servitude. These women experienced profound physical and emotional suffering, enduring unspeakable abuses at the hands of their masters. It's the combination of castration, brutal working conditions, and the dehumanizing treatment of black female slaves paints a bleak picture of the horrors perpetrated during the Arab slave trade. The consequences of the Arab slave trade were profound, extending far beyond the immediate enslavement of millions of black Africans. This mass enslavement set in motion a disturbing cycle of exploitation and suffering that echoed through generations. The enduring impact of this historical injustice can be observed in the intergenerational trauma and challenges faced by the descendants of those who endured the horrors of the trade. One of the distressing aspects contributing to the perpetuation of this cycle was the practice of Arab masters searing children with black female slaves. This further deepened the complexities of the social fabric as the offspring of these unions became part of a marginalized and stigmatized community. These individuals faced a unique set of challenges caught in the intersection of racial and social hierarchies, often experiencing discrimination and prejudice due to their mixed heritage. But why were the Arabs racist or kept doing the slave trade? One of the foremost impacts of the Arab slave trade was the creation of substantial wealth. East African Muslims actively participated in this trade, acquiring black slaves from African kingdoms and then selling them in the Muslim world. The economic prosperity generated from this trade bolstered the financial standing of individuals involved, contributing to wealth accumulation in certain segments of society. The Arab slave trade fueled a surge in demand for slaves within the Muslim world. These enslaved individuals became integral to various sectors, including agriculture, construction, and domestic service. The economic engine of the Arab world was, to a significant extent, fueled by the labor provided by these enslaved populations. The economic exploitation of slaves was a prevalent feature of the Arab slave trade. Slaves were treated as commodities, bought and sold for their labor and resources. The earnings of these slaves directly contributed to the affluence of their masters, 
establishing a system that perpetuated economic inequality. The Arab slave trade played a pivotal role in expanding trade networks between the Arab world and Africa. Slaves were transported through various regions and markets, facilitating increased commerce. The economic ties forged during this period contributed to the growth and diversification of trade routes, leaving a lasting impact on regional economies. Do you think the Arab world needs to change the way it deals with a sensitive topic like race? Do you still think Arabs are racist, even if they're becoming better and more developed? Let us know in the comments section why black people are subject to hate everywhere. Would you like us to make more videos? If yes, please support us by subscribing to the Black History Archives and clicking the bell icon. You can check out more videos on our channel too.